Hello, I'm Tracy Brenneman. I work for Hanson Carlin Architecture and Construction. Today we're going to talk about the Zipwall R sheeting, which is an OSB covered foam board. Tracy, what do you think of this product here? I mean, well, let's take a look at it here. How, how is it made? Well, they take a uh, inch thick styrofoam, uh, dense styrofoam, and they glue it to OSB, 7 16 OSB, which which holds it to it for operation of putting it on the walls, makes it easier than uh, just installing the foam and trying to install something over the top of it. What it, is this it has a sealant on it that would seal it from any moisture getting on the board. And so you, the advantage would be also that you did, do not have to use any type of house wrap before you side. So how did it install? Uh, we installed it with this project, we installed it with this three inch framing nails. Um, we shot it r directly to our studs. I um, shot it on the center. They call for a shear pattern. Basically, on like any house, would have a shear pattern. And then it open field patterns. And then after we've installed it with the nails, we come back and we seal it with this uh, sealant that we have that's uh, uh, waterproofing. And it also stops any airflow through the product. The control issue of them designing the panels, they allowed the foam to stick back outside the panels by a quarter inch. So what I ended up having to do was I took a router with a bearing on it and I routered the edge of every sheet in order to make that styrofoam flush to the OSB so we could install it. You know, for Hanson Carlin Construction, we're trying to build a very tight home for our customers. We'd like for it to be airtight and also at the same time watertight. We would like for the, to use the most modern products that we can find that are already proven to be a, a great product. 